And we back, we back, we back with another video. Welcome back to my channel and to <laughs> I can't. I can't. And we back, we back, we back with another video. Welcome back to my channel and today, two for good day, I am back with another video ranking the accommodations at my university. I know you guys have been wanting this video for the longest and I'm finally giving it to you. So yeah, let's get into the video. If you've seen my last video, obviously you'll know the the scaling system that I go by. So elite is mwah, elite is perfection. <laughs> top notch is you know what's good, it's solid, it's like the top ten of the Premier League. Top notch, you understand what I mean? Decent is it's alright, you know, not too shabby, could be better, all of that. Vibe check failed. Oh my goodness, like I do not want to live here. I do, yeah, the vibe check is gone. It's not the vibe. Get in the bin. Get in the bin is equivalent to Arsenal. It's equivalent to that amount of trash. That's how bad it is. If it's get in the bin, I'm so sorry. You should get your money back. You really, really should. Uh, number one, Toot Williamson and Butler. You guys already know the vibe. I always talk about this. And that is honestly the best a calm for first years. It's like, first year central it really is and it's right next to meds which makes it the perfect spot for pretty it's literally like in the center of campus it's so close to everything like Chief williamson and butler is the go-to place it is a double bed we do love double beds it is en suite that's really good and the kitchen sizes are you know they're nice and comfortable the walls are thin though. <laughs> the walls are so freaking thin. I will put it on top notch because, mm, nah, I have to put it in the elite. I have to put it in the elite because there's actually not that much wrong with it. There's not that much wrong. It is, I'd say, one of the best, one of the best comms on campus, yeah. Do you know what? I'm trying to wrap my brain for a problem and there's no problem. Why does my brain like to create problems? <laughs> No, it is the best. It is elite. I'm putting it up there. It does deserve to be an elite. The pad. Do you know what? Let me get that other picture. Um, because I'm going to do pad and podium at the same time. So this is going to be for the pad and the podium. They are expensive for no damn reason. For no damn reason. This is where all the internationals kind of go. Because it's either they've like struggled with some kind of like visa or something so they've come really late and then there's like no con so they just get to the pad and put yeah because it's too expensive no one no one wants to stay there it's too expensive um or they're just they have a lot of money and they just don't want to stay with peasants so they decide to stay at the pad and the podium that's usually usually how it works i'm not gonna lie the actual location is you know it's pretty good for the location it's not too far um, from campus, it's like a two minute walk um, and I've never been inside the podium but I have been inside the pad and the pad's nice, it has its own like little uh, social games common room which is pretty big, I went to a motive there, it was really big um, and yeah I, I'm guessing the rooms are pretty nice, they're just too expensive. I will say vibe check failed, vibe check failed it's not really a vibe. It's okay, but it's just not really the vibe. Like no one, no one really says I'm going to a motive in the pad slash podium, or yeah, I'm just gonna get my friends from the pad slash podium. No, like, or maybe that's just because I'm black and I'm pro. <laughs> maybe you know. Pox Park is a very popular choice for all types of people. And it usually is for people, again, who got into Royal Holloway but couldn't get accommodation on campus. So they go to Hots Park because the, I'd say that is the best option. Um, it's great for international students, home students, EU students. And it's really nice. Like, it's got its own thing going on there. It's got a gym, a dance studio, its own little, like, reading place, study place. A uh, common room, it's a vibe, it is a vibe, and it is really, really nice. Like, I've been to the rooms um, for the price, it is a bit spinny, not as pricey as the pod and podium, I don't think, but it is a bit spinny. 
so keep that in mind um and it is a track that's the <laughs> that's the only thing i'm gonna say it is a track uh me i like convenience I like to be comfortable. I like to relax. You see me in this freaking rocking chair. You guys already know the vibe. I like to relax, you know. I like luxury, but I like comfortability. You know what I mean? But being a 30 minute walk away is not the vibe. And yes, there is a free bus that runs. It goes from campus to Kingswood and Hawks. However, me, I'm always running late. I will say that, I will say that, so it is not the one, if you miss that bus, bro, you're not getting to your 9am, you're not getting to your 9am, so, you know, with that in mind, I'm going to have to put Hawks Park top notch, founders, 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 as some of you guys know, I lived in founders for first year and I absolutely loved it, however, I was very lucky. I was. I don't even. I don't even realize how lucky I was, because the people that I was friends with were my like neighbors. We did make a lot of friends in Founders, and we did have a lot of fun in Founders. Um, however, however, those bathroom situations are a sticky one, and it's an old building. It's a very old building. So it's not updated, it's not not very nice, it is a bit a bit dirty, but <laughs> but I'd say the bathroom situation and it being catered are the only problems. But the rooms were so spacious, like I had so much stuff in my room that I didn't even need. Um, and I like the fact that the ceilings were very high because it just gave this whole airy vibe to it. Like I love the, even the windows, the doors, like the aesthetic was giving, you know what I mean? I'll explain the whole catering situation because what it is is you basically pay for the food but it's discounted. So as a student, you get like, I think it's a 20% discount. But if you're a catered student, you get an extra discount on top of that. So it's like 50%. Um, and it's really, it's really, really cheap. Like I would usually get lunch, a uh, cheeseburger, um, chips, and a cheesecake for, I think it was like maybe three pounds. So that's pretty, pretty, no, do you know what? I don't think it was. I think it was like two pound 50 to be honest, because chips were like 46p. Yeah, it was it was pretty cheap. It was pretty cheap. So um, yeah, that's how it basically works. Like when you get dinner, they'll provide everything. Like you don't always have to go. Like no one's forcing you to eat, if that makes sense. But there are like specific times where you can go and eat. Um, and if you don't want to, you can make your food in the pantry. And the pantry is a place where you can get hot water. It's like a little kitchen, but without the oven and the stove. So you get hot water. You have a microwave. You get kettle. Uh, fridge, freezer, all of that good stuff, but you have to share that with like 24 people <laughs> and so most of the time your food will get stolen, it is inevitable, it does happen, can't tell you why but people can just be idiots, you know what I mean? So yeah, that is the whole catering situation. Also, Founders has an amazing, amazing, I'm not being paid, why am I bigging it up this much? I'm not being paid for this. <laughs> amazing Founders has a really cool like um common room and it's on each side like there's one on each side on the west side and on the east side and it's always going to be on the boys floor the second floor uh and it, it's a vibe it's a vibe like you can there's a tv in there there's couches there's tables you know you can play games you can do beer pong do prees in there it's a bet it's a really good place for prees it's a really good place for prees founders is its own little like community and there's so many people that live there which is which is why i like love that whole aspect because it gave me a boarding school vibe and for that reason alone i'm going to put it in top notch because I did have, I did have a lot of fun in, in Founders. I did have a lot of fun in Founders. Next up, a big, big favourite, um, George Eliot. It is quite well known for its motives. However, how good it is as a accommodation is debatable. Me personally, I hate George Eliot rooms. I hate them, they're just too small. They're too small, they're double beds, yeah. 
and the bathrooms are nice because you share them with like one other person but the rooms like I like space in the sense not space as in how much is in a room but space in the sense of like floor space like how much floor space can I have and in George Eliot it's literally just a, a single kind of single line of floor space <laughs> only thing that does have a lot of space is the kitchen slash living room area that is really big like if you have um, one of the bigger living rooms which is like the kitchen like a dining room and then a living room that those kitchens are massive um if you just have like a kitchen and the living room that's also pretty big as well so it's a win-win situation with the with like the downstairs, just the rooms are a bit small, for my liking anyway. If you're someone who doesn't mind those kind of sizes, then go ahead. Kill it. Socially, George Eliot is very, very much bang on the head. One of the hot spots at the university. Um, a lot of, it's like a mix of students there, so second, third, um, first, second and third years, there we go. So a mix of students that live there. A lot of international students like to live there because it is quite, you know, fancy. It's one of the nicest ones, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna put that, George Eliot, into top notch. But I'm gonna put it below founders. Oh, I'll put it above founders, yeah. Because, it, yeah, it's a good, it's a good, a com. It's a good a com. Let's do read. Okay, so my thoughts about read. I've only been to read a couple of times, maybe three, four times. And out of the times that I've been there, I've always been scared. Because it reminds me a bit of Luton. <laughs> the first time I went there was for pre's in first year. And the kitchen was tiny. It was tiny, yeah, I'm thinking back to it. Because it was like a little L-shaped kitchen with a table in the middle, but like, there was just no space anywhere. Um, I, I hope that's not all of them, I really do. But when I went to that one, I was, I was, yeah, I was like, oof, it feels a bit squashy in here. Me who likes space, I get claustrophobic really, really easily. And I felt a little bit claustrophobic in that. But maybe that was also because there was like a lot of people in there, you know what I mean? So with that, with that in mind, it's not really looking good. It's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. What else? Um, I've seen the rooms. Um, it's en suite apparently i've never seen the actual en suites though so i can't talk too much about the bathrooms but i'm guessing they'd probably be on the same level as running me as kind of en suites which are quite you know basic if that makes sense um because it is one of the older accommodations is that my washing machine yeah it is one of the older accommodations so don't expect anything new don't expect anything, you know, out of this world. You are get, you are getting what you're paying for. Uh, a lot of people do like it because it's on campus and it's catered. Catered? Yeah, it's catered. So that means that you will go to the hub, which is in, which is literally just across the road from Reed. You you would go to the hub for your for your food. And the difference with this com and all the other catered coms is that one, you have your own bathroom, and two, it is in a very like um close location on campus like you have everything around you it's in it's, it's literally behind Chute Williamson and Butler like it's so close to everything on campus and it's on the cheaper side compared to all the other accommodations it's like probably the same level as founders like that kind of pricing so that's I, I mean I'd understand if you are looking for a cheaper alternative I'd say probably that one is is a good one if you want something on suite catered and on campus so I put it in decent. Let's go to <laughs> Penrose. Oh, even just saying the name gives me nightmares. So if you've seen my um, room tour video, that was in Penrose because for some reason, the university de decided to put me there, even though it was not on my list. And when I first arrived, I was Utterly, I was so upset. I remember, I was so upset because, let me explain, that bathroom gave me nightmares. <laughs> it gave me nightmares. As in, I barely could fit in the bathroom. It was like a square box, right? 
and the like shower head was up here but like I would have to move to the side so it wouldn't go on my hair which meant that I was like literally touching the wall like the oh my goodness guys and I burnt my back I probably I think I have a scar on my back actually I burnt the bottom of my back on the pipes because they're so hot like you can't touch them you can't, you just can't if it's on you just can't touch it so I would every time I try and like scrub like down here like my legs and stuff and bend over I would like burn my back bro not the vibe not the vibe at all it is very cheap though it's probably one of the cheapest accommodations on campus I was only paying 5.5 for the whole year um but again I just didn't want to stay there like so many bad things happened to me um and i designed my room in a way that would be comfortable for me that would make me like it more and uh, that would you know settle me in a bit which i liked i like the way i designed my room thank god for that uh however i just didn't like firstly i was on the ground floor so if i open up my blinds literally anyone could see into my room which did not make me comfortable at all Second of all, what else? <laughs> I'm just listing all the problems. Second of all, um, it's really quiet around there because mostly, I mean, there are a lot of masters and postgrads that live there, but you know, you do have the odd second and third year that also live there, but nothing happens. Nothing happens. I remember I had a um, house party closer towards the end of the year and people were coming out saying this is the most noise that they've heard in Penrose like I was I was like what <laughs> you're telling me no one's done nothing nothing bro it's so quiet which is a good and a bad thing because if you do want to have a motive you can't get away with it like we got we got away with having like 50 people around don't ask me questions don't ask me questions so for that reason for Penrose putting me through the absolute worst I'm gonna put get in the bin get in the bin because I don't understand Penrose you're an elderly home you're an el like you're an elderly home we'll do um Gower and Wedderburn we'll do Gower and Wedderburn and I really like Gower and Wedderburn it's basically um, cheap Williamson and Butler, but uh, just a tiny bit further away. That's literally it. It's like a, it's like a two-minute walk from Cheap Williamson and Butler, really. Um, yeah, I don't really know what much to say because it literally is the same. Um, I'd say the only difference is a lot more. There are a lot more second and third years that go for Gow and Wedderburn than for Cheap Williamson and Butler. I feel like Cheap Williamson and Butler is designed for first years like it's literally it's literally just for first years i don't think there are many second or third years that stay there whereas gal and wedderman is a mix so for that reason i'm gonna put it at the bottom just below yeah just below elite because it's not is it elite though no 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 it's not elite i've been to more motors in cheap williamson and butler than i have in gal and wedderman so yeah top of top notch yeah yeah that would make sense that would make sense but yeah very very similar very similar Runmead is an interesting one because not all of the like flats or the blocks are the same i remember i went to one where it was like the kitchen was really big really big like you could probably I, well it was a motive or a little birthday party but it was like the fridges were in the middle and then you could like have all this space around like it was a really it was a really big um kitchen and then i'd go to one that was <laughs> tiny <laughs> oh bless it was so small it's like a little table and then like a kitchen like an l-shaped kitchen and that was it like it, it wasn't that big at all so it does depend on the actual block or floor that you're in because all of them range all of them range um the rooms are all right the double actually most of them are singles though i don't think i've seen a double i've heard of a double but i don't think i've seen a double and it's quite it, 
is it quite new? It's newer. So, you know, <laughs> take that as you will, it's newer. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. And they do get a lot of rats down there. And I'm not just talking about the animals. I wanna, oh, failed vibe check, maybe. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna be truthful. I'm gonna say vibe check failed because it's just not the best place. It, it just really isn't. That's no shade on the people that live there. All the people going to live there, like, I'm sure if you're a really cool person, you can make the most out of it. I made the most out of Penrose. <laughs> Penrose is in the bed. <laughs> Penrose needs to be burnt to the ground. <laughs> it honestly does depend on the people or the persons. However, for me and my experience and what I've seen and what I've been through, it does not pass the vibe. It doesn't really have a vibe. It's a little bit scary. So I'm putting it down there. Last but not least, <sighs> Kingswood. So Kingswood is the, um, or part of the three K to the com, so Founders, Reed, and now Kingswood. And it has its own dining area, it's an ensuite, it is single, and it is quite, um, quite small. Quite, the rooms are quite small. Uh, I don't know what else it has, I know it has a common room, and it is its own, basic, it's basically its own little, you know, campus, really, because it has, like, massive blocks or buildings of rooms and flats and floors and stuff like that all around with like a main green pasture in the middle um and again it's just a little bit further than hox so it does have the bus that runs to and from campus however it is that trek that i cannot get over how are people, how are my friends from first year telling me that they have to trek through forests, through wilderness to get to the main campus? That's what my mum was doing in Africa, bro. <laughs> That's what my mum was doing. And you're telling me in a big, big UK, in a big, big Surrey, you have to trek through a forest to get to your class. It's not adding up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is scary. That is scary, <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> and the thing is, and the thing is, it would be, it would be, do you know what? A 30 minute walk, and maybe I should have explained, a 30 minute walk is all right. I do 30 minute walks all the time, but on streets, on roads, on sidewalks, not through a tiny little path, through a back forest with no street light, after an SU event, oh my goodness. That is scary. But I will say in its own little way, Kingswood is a little, it's got a little, so it's shotting. I remember I went, I did a Freshers, Freshers event. It wasn't a Freshers event. It was just a motive and people were like, everyone, let's go to Kingswood, da, da, da. So we went and there were so many people there and everyone, everyone was just like outside talking, listening to music, dancing. And it was actually vibey. It was actually vibey. It was a good night. It was a good night. So the people there, like, they they can get lit. They're quite cool. You know, they have something about them, but it's the location that can be difficult. I have to I have to put it in decent. Because it's not terrible. The food the food, that's another issue. The rooms, they are tight oh, the rooms are tiny though. But it doesn't, it doesn't fail the vibe check. So that's why I'm putting it at the bottom of decent. Yeah, it doesn't fail the vibe check. The vibe is still there. There's still a little sign, you know what I mean? They make do, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so with that in mind, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put it in the bottom of decent. So that is our list. We have Chuk, Williamson and Butler in the Elite. We have Gal, Wedderburn, Hots Park, George Elliott and Founders in Top Notch. We've got Reed and Kingswood in Decent. We've got Runnymede, The Pod and Podium. The Pad, The Pod and Podium in Vibe Check Failed. And last but not least, we have Penrose in the bin where it belongs. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me giving you a little rundown of these comms and giving you a bit more information about you know what they're like make sure to like and subscribe so i can keep making videos like these and also make sure to comment if you're going to royal holloway this year make sure to comment which a com you're going to be staying in i want to see i want to see who's going to be going where so make sure to comment that down in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching we out uh -huh. bye <laughs>